can see you can see it's now operating now you can see there's no more frp lock so now you're going to configure your phone for use so you can see set up offline so you click on it we set continue continue This is phone clinic and today I'm going to teach you how to bypass FROP on Villa on V40S. This is Villa on V40S. And today I'm going to show you a simple tool you can use to bypass this using your PC. You can see up here. You can see up here that it is locked. So now you're going to click your start button. You're going to click your start button and then skip the SIM card first. And then you're going to connect to a Wi Fi network. Just connect to a Wi Fi network. So now, so now it's connecting now. You're allowed to load. It's going, to, it's going to take some time for it to load, so you have to be patient. So, so I see the network is, is delaying. I'd like it to be patient a little. Let's see. Let it load. The cord is plugged in because of the battery is down. I'm charging it because of the battery. Battery is a bit down. You can see, don't copy. You can see. You can see. You can see the information. Your phone was reset to factory settings. To use this phone, enter your previous pin. So, let's try one, two, three, four. You can see it is incorrect. So since it is incorrect now, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Go back. So now you're on the home screen back again. So what you're going to do, you're going to insert a SIM lock into the phone. You're going to insert a SIM lock into the phone. So, see. now showing lock. So now you are going to unlock the scene. After you unlock, you can see the information on the screen. To uh, not sign in, to use this phone, you have to set up. So you are going to click on the camera icon here. You are going to click and hold it, and then it will take you to this thing. <clears throat> now you are going to, while using this app, click it, and then allow. So, watch me carefully. You are going to select Google Lens. Select Google Lens. Now, you are going to select Open Camera. Why using this app? So, so now, so I've selected your camera. You are going to select Privacy. It's going to take you to to Google Chrome. You can see taking you to Google Chrome now. Use without an account. So 
So now use without account. So now you can see. So here you are going to you are going to search for. Now you are going to open in browser. Close it. Ah. So it has taken you back to the home screen again. You are going to perform the same procedure. Now put it back in again. So now see unlock the scene. You can see. So you are still going to click your camera and hold. So click on Google account. So now click on Google account. As you are here, go to privacy policy so that you can go to Google Chrome. So you click on this uh, four dots up here. This four dots, you click on it to open the Google apps. So now you are going to go to search. This is now where I actually wanted to come. So you go to search. So here now, you're going to click on search. You're going to search for room. Add room. So you're going to search for it. Click on search. So this first option, you're going to select it. is a bit slow we are going to be patient the network is actually disturbing the network is slow 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 Into the slope. 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 You just scroll down, scroll down. Now you see, look at this. Check for this option. Look at this option. Open phone dialer. Click on it. It's gonna take you to your phone dialer. You look at it, and then you click a clean on. Now you're going to type this code: star hash star hash four nine now hash star hash star now you see the information down here's where the bugging is turned on now you are going to leave it here now you're going to go to your pc you're going to load this file android service 2 android service 2 let me increase the brightness of, of my PC so you can see it well. Where is it? Where is it? You can see Android Service 2. You are going to use this tool to bypass. Now, you are going to click. You are going to click on this F, Reset FRP ADB. This option. Let me close the light so that it doesn't disturb it look at this option here reset frp adb you click on it now before you 
click on it you are going to plug in your cord your cord from your pc this is your cord your usb cord from your pc okay so you plug in your cord and then you click on reset frop now you're going to wait for it to load you're going to wait for it to load you can see allow So it's saying device unauthorized. You're going to uh, click on it again. So you're going to wait patiently. So always allow from this device and then allow. So you can see it's reading now. You can see reset. Resetting. Then you're going to review the phone. Rebooting the phone. You can see. Reset FRP lock. Rebooting phone. Now your FRP have been done. So now you can plug your cord. And plug your cord. And then you wait for your phone to boot up. Then you configure it. So you can see since your sim card is still inside you unlock your sim card you can see it is unlocked it is unlocked but you still have to do something on on, on the phone you still have to do something so Now you see that the phone is is a uh, you are going to click on this camera. You see that it's not drawing down. You can see it's not drawing down. So you are going to click on this camera and hold. Click on this camera and hold. Then it will take you to camera. Now when it takes you to camera, then you now back. You back. Click on buy. Take it to home page. You see that the home key is not uh, the pull down notification is not coming. My phone has gone off. I'm going to plug it. Let me plug it. Cause the battery is a bit down. I'm going to. My battery is running down. I'm going to plug my phone the battery is down so you are still going to wait a little you want to hold the camera again the camera open once your camera open and then you are going to back it you're going to back it now you see that the home the pull down notification is not working you see it's not working it's not working so what you're going to do for your frp to be completely configured you're going to enter the settings enter the settings there you click about phone click about one then you see this uh, build number you are going to activate your developer mode no so now you are going to click you are now a developer you can see the message so now you are going to go back scroll down go to system scroll down see developer option click on it and then you are going to scroll down see this option allow bootloader to be unlocked you click on it then you enable so now it has been activated so you are going to go back and then you see reset option you enter and then you erase factory setting and then you click on it and then erase all data and then it's going to erase itself the phone is going to be erased now
Nice beauty. So now you can see the reason. So it's been done. We're going to repeat now. Inside, so I'm going to unlock it. And unlock, and then you can see. You can see it's now I was operating now. You can see there's no more FRP lock. So now you're going to configure your phone for use. So you can see set up offline. So you click on it. We set continue. Continue. You can see. So skip. So you got your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. So you can see. You can see that it's now coming down. You can see. You can see. So you can see that your phone is now configured. You can see. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you again in my next video and bye for now.